Hi, I'm back. I will be one of four people streaming Faith. And if I can get seven viewers, eight viewers, I will be one. Um, so that wasn't an option. That wasn't an option. Wait, let me edit. So there's, there's faith chapter one, two, and three, and there's just faith. Give me a sec. Yeah, so there's... The weird thing is, under categories of what kind of game it is, it says driving, racing game, adventure game, action, indie game. Which, I don't feel like that's right. Oh, the faith thing you was an actual Bible thing? That's funny. Dude, look, look under the category, and it's locked. It's locked. I can't change it. I can't change it. Yeah, I don't know why. But, yeah, let's go ahead and boot it up. Um, Would this be better if you played on a controller? I, I don't know if this is a better... Yes? Okay. All right, let's boot it up. Um, boop. Oh, there it is. I saw a star fall from heaven, and to him was given the key to the bottomless pit. Oh my god, that was loud in my ear. Fuck. Fucking loud in my ear. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. September 21st. Oh, my God. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. Oh, shit. Give me a second. still really loud. It's still really loud. Thank you. Yeah, it's fucking loud. 
You can, <laughs> you can turn off the demons. I'll bring it to 15. Ah, <laughs> you read my mind. All right, I want to hear the uh, beginning. So I'm gonna actually exit the game and reopen it. All right. I'm gonna grab my vape. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. Ah, cool. I'm just in time to pick I up for what it says. What I finish what I what I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. You're saying I should take off the, uh... Oh my god, stretch o -rama. Oh, dude. I don't know, I kinda like this one. You're like, none. What did I do? What did I do? There we go. There we go. All right. I'll trust you since I'll trust you since you said to do none. Um, background. None. Chapter one. Chapter two. Two. Chapter three. And marathon mode. All right, new game. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try to remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. All right, I see. Big tree, house, well. Uh, big house. Is it just gonna play like this 8-bit Moonlight Sonata the whole time? Alright, so this is the road. Hey look, it's the dead tree. What? It reacts. Oh! Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it and the bark's peeling. I guess I'm more upset 
about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's been pas she's passionate about. So I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me. Oh shit. How do you Chaos Reds. What? What? Oh, is it cuz it's it's in the middle of like a pentagram of rocks? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Is it still coming after me? Oh god. Hey, look, it's a deer. What the fuck? You Jesus. It's a well. Well, well, well. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. <gasps> straight past the well. Well, well, well. Let's go up one, and then we'll go over. Suffer. S suffer? <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck is this? Oh, shit. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year. Here at the home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problem occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look the dead deer it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this is just a day after the twins birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Oh. Oh. Oh, here we go. Martin's house lies off about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Alred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Alred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. Oh, it's okay. Oh, what? Do you see that out the window? Get out of here. Get out of here. I knew you were going to come in here. I knew you were going to come here after I grabbed that key. You fucker. Fucker. I 
No. No. Nobody's gonna get me. No. I have Jesus. I have the power of God and anime on my side. I want to touch the deer. Okay. Oh, another another well? No, it's the same well. Okay. We'll just keep going straight up then. Because straight up should be the house. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him there was guilt, shame in his voice. Amy was in the back attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child. Oh. I was going to say, the picture seemed like something. <laughs> Check out the plants. <laughs> monsters in beds? Oh, dude, I'm digging this a lot. Is that a thing behind me? It's so realistic. It's so realistic. It's like ray tracing. <laughs> I have the body of the pig. Oh my god. I love its its freaky voice. Oh my. Wait, what was it? <gasps> I'm missing note four. Six, seven, nine. Oh man, I gotta go back and find some notes. I do too. Oh my god. Check out this door. We'll go upstairs next. That looks like down. Looks like stairs. That we won't check out the basement yet. Let's go upstairs. So. Oh, there's an exercise bike. Get on that bike. Get on that bike. What the? Hmm. 
there's blood there. I can't exercise. I can't exercise the bike. <laughs> I can't exercise the exercise bike. There's a rubber ducky. Oh shit, the rubber ducky is a thing. I don't feel safe in my home anymore. I had the voice outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself seems feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival fun house. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I can't and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home to Take a shit. Oh, geez. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic when I got up there. It was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back looking straight at me. Like when I first met her downstairs, we spoke briefly, although frustrating to talk to her. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name. In other instances, she spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and the right again. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East. Sent over a weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Okay. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self conscious about at the clinic. Fucking Dude, that's Simon. That is totally Simon right there. That game's awesome. I I love the etch a sketch, that fucking ball the ball popper thing. That's totally a ball popper thing. The little rolly phone. The little rolly phone. I'm guessing this is uh like a yak back. All I could think of it is like a yak back. I remember. I remember. Is there really nothing in here? Really? <clears throat> Answer phone. Hello? I didn't go um I didn't go into the uh the basement. So I was up here and I did all this shit, but I didn't go in the basement. Oh, there's a mannequin. Or, yeah, mannequin torso. Oh, 
can slip through. Oh. Jeremy, thanks for writing. Really brightened my day hearing from you. The last letter you asked, what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary? The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba, what you might call a pagan religion, kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, no, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. He told him he could pray to God, and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to the church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Layton. Yeah, the lack of music is unnerving. I feel like something's going to happen. Jeez. Up on the floor. Crack open your head. Oh. Oh, no. Which one of you? Any of these fuckers? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ain't no ghosts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Amy's parents cannot endure witnessing the proceedings. Right for long, Miss Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off the fear. Father Alred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! The whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Alred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. Oh. Oh. She is here. Why am I up here? Why am I in up here in the bedroom? Why am I up here in the bedroom? Oh, oh, oh! She got me. I knew she was in the room, but I didn't understand. Oh, cool. That was nice of them to just let me start off here. Mortis. <laughs> she is here. She is here. She is here. Oh, it's RNG. Oh, no, it's not. Oh. <gasps> Oh, do you just have to guess? Or is one of them different? I'll find out. That's such a good animation, though. That's so fucking awesome. I should be really proud of what they Okay. 
No! Alright. So I'm just gonna... Gonna be like... And then... Maybe you get like a split second. She is here. Um... Not yet. I can see you. I guessed. I legit guessed. I legit guessed. That was a guess. Not even kidding. must have to do with the blinking. Does one of them not blink? She is here. She is here. <laughs> Mortis. Is it the first one that appears? Is it the one I have to pay attention what direction it first pops up in? Okay. I can't understand what she's saying. Give him some Jesus. Oh. Uh, uh. Is she saying go away? Go away! I'm guessing I need to get my ass back in the basement. I heard a door open upstairs. Oh! I heard a door open upstairs. <laughs> I love it. This is, this is good. This is really good. This is really good. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of A.B. Martin. They said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, was, uh, when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power of the house and her own parents with their own i go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can't still... I could still help her. If I don't come back, I know that... know that I love you. And I'm sorry. John. Fucking... Jesus. 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 Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How dare you? How dare you? What happened to you? <laughs> Do you think my face is pretty? <laughs> <laughs> I'm time to finish what I started. She's my priest. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, fuck you.
Oh. 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 Oh shit, we going right for the boss? For the, right for the little boss fight. Fucker. Does she chase me or do I just gotta dodge it? I'm gonna try to just dodge it this next time. Yeah! Get juked, bitch. My butt, it clenches. Ah! Holy shit! You almost got me. You almost got me. Yeah! Oh shit, it's not over! It's not over! Oh, you gotta you gotta watch the shit on the floor. Okay, I see. Oh fucking shit. something on your face don't you think my face is pretty oh shit thought I was gonna More pop up in front of me god damn it It's okay. Ah! <laughs> I wonder how, how close I actually have to be to use the cross. Oh, I don't have to be that close. Ah! Son of a bitch. Oh. Oh my god. Ah! 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 No! <laughs> Call someone closer. <laughs> I thought I got away, but I guess not. Uh, 
right move. Ah! 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 No! Alright, that's that, the. No! Oh. I think I'm being. I'm getting to a point where I can, like, feel it out in the room, like, where it's safe to stand. To go after her. Oh, I got lucky. I got lucky. I was like right outside of it. Huh. Huh. Okay. Okay. All right. Huh. No, she fucking tricked me up. There was a fourth. There was a fourth. Oh! I'm glad I backed up, though. I can't reach. No. Ah! Huh. Power of Christ compels you. Did she, did she just bounce? Like she's not in the house anymore. Oh wait, I gotta go down the stairs. Oh no. Kill her? No. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. Oh. Well. There we go. Oh, I get another one. Cool. Cool. Oh, son of a bitch! I had a hunch that you'd be able to do that. A gun with one bullet. <laughs> oh, how do I... How do I... That's... Fucking ridiculous. No. I didn't. I hit it resume to get out this bullshit. A gun with one bullet. <laughs> no. There's no way to, for me to whip my cross out again. There's no way for me to whip my cross out. Again. <laughs> I 
Oh, there's tombstones here. You know what? Fuck it. I'll go get another gun with one bullet. But I also I'm wondering if I could shoot a deer. Sorry, I wanted to know if either of those headstones. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> uh, Wait, you can't shoot a deer? Are you telling me that? <laughs> I like how the gun kind of bobs up and down when I go up and down. Makes it, makes it so much more realistic. find this yeah one bullet <laughs> uh, oh there's raven There's Raven. I love Raven. It's great. This game's awesome. You missed some of the cool rotoscope scenes. If you saw some of the rotoscope scope scenes, you would you'd be like, "Wow, this fucking game's dope." Here we go. Yeah. Come on. dead tree or is this a sh lightning struck tree let's go to the shed let's go to the shed what's the what's the request if which which mario party Which Mario Party? I mean, there's the new new one, which is okay. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah! I got him! <laughs> I fucking got him! <laughs> I I wanted to know. I wanted to know. <laughs> you had, you're going to tell me that you weren't curious. You're going to tell me you weren't curious. What if she possessed the deer? Oh, no. I can't go in the house. I can't go in the house. Eric, I can't go in the house. Wait. Was she the deer? Was the deer the answer? 
Or did I just get a bad it bad ending? Dumb dumb. I won't. Sick ride. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. Oh my God. You kill the deer and you get the fucking fucking deer revenge ending. Oh my god, that is so great. <laughs> Bravo. That's amazing. Unidentified body discovered near car near wrecked car. Side of the deadly car accident discovered on the road near Sterling this morning along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified at 6 a.m. this morning a resident called him resident like stick middle hill road the driver of the silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree a spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front of, my cheeks hurt from smiling um from the front windshield it was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. New background. Can I load? Can I load? What happens if I hit continue? <gasps> I can get the gun. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one I'm gonna. No. A gun with. Gotta find the shed. I feel like it's. Yeah! Alright, what the fuck? Identif <gasps> there she is! Did I shoot her? Did it. Shot her. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I fucked up. I shot her, but then I didn't pull out my cross. I'm going to get another bad ending. I, I can already tell. Look at this. Poodle. Five? For this one chapter? And then there's two. Oh, four. There's two more chapters. Dude, I'm gonna play the fuck out of this on my Steam Deck. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, great. Ending 105. New York man in custody after confessing the murder of Stuart. Acting, acting nervous and suspicious at question work that killed her. According to the police, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to the authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police look at Amy's body in the woods, now abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries, suggesting that she had thrown out of the second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over, suspected that he's personated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not gained Mr. Articles. So that's ending one. We got 14 notes out of 20. What if we don't bring the gun? I'm going to go not for now. A gun with that one bullet. Yeah, I imagine if you shoot that guy, it's no good. Oh, we can't go back in there. This guy's back. <laughs> we get if we can get back in the house, I'm going to shoot that guy. <laughs> Hell yeah. A god with one bullet. Oh, god damn it. Unintentional, I promise. A god with one bullet. I'll fucking shoot that stranger. Oh no. What have I done? I killed some random guy. Help me, dear. Guessing the cops are gonna ride my ass out of here again. I 
will send a flower. Oh. It is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Oh, oh God. <laughs> The demon, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for your young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. Past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness side of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up fight against the enemy. Such a critical time. There's another reason which I dare not return. Michael to his family, nor let them see him. Darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no taking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael of our session. The photograph is missing. Well, we gotta, we gotta get the last ending. We gotta get the last ending. Wait, two more to go? I thought I got three endings. I killed the deer. <laughs> I killed the deer. Oh, chapter five has. I'm going to try something dumb. I'm going to try shooting the tree. Oh, I still don't know what the deal is here. I don't know if shooting the tree is going to do anything, but the answer is no. The answer is no. But the fox? That's what... That's what that is? The fox? I remember they said, like, the twins were fucking around with an animal and their hands were bloody. But I thought it was a dead deer, not a fox. Here's your favorite line. Mm -hmm. A dog with one bullet. Wait, shoot the animal in between the rocks? Shoot the animal? The dead animal? Is that what you're trying to tell me?
Okay. <laughs> I sure what What the fuck The offering Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It's hard for people to trust. But they do not understand. I know you're only 17, but you are clearly an adult. Life does not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. Anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We're having a get-together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider part of the team. And if your mom and dad do not hope to see Gary. Okay. <laughs> Fucking Gary. Uh, Fucking Gare Bear. I need to stop being a goddamn Gary with this with this gun. Now I gotta figure out what the fuck to do. Did I miss the tree when I shot at it? Is that my problem? Did I miss the tree when I shot at it? Here's the shed. I don't think I can go in. No. Sure, I'll take a hint. Get in the car. Go to your car. With the gun. Oh my god. I shot it. Oh! I will say a lower. He is my refuge and my fortress. I, I almost got hit by the truck. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night. 
aura of evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have built the Lord by refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble, he will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. I think that's all. I think I got all the endings, too. I think I got all five. Offering, deer, killed the stranger, killed Amy, killed the demon. Can I get hit by the truck and die? Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of the animal, which some of the residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist discovered the remains had his pulled them all right my mouth is dry i told them they appeared to be of a person after arriving at the scene police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal a matter of public safety we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here said the sterling police spokesman it's clearly not a deer or a coyote if it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets. Vitamin D deficiency appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Mortis. Did that say Gary loves you over and over and over again at the end? Fuck it, I'll start. I'll start chapter two. Wait a minute. Prologue. Hold on a second. Back. Back. Chapter one. Alright, there's no... Okay. <laughs> Let's go! Oh. Oh! We're right in it. Right off the... Oh, it's so realistic. Father Garcia, you're hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by your office. A... Rep. Rep. Rest is it... Oh, representative. Okay, Okay, yep. Of uh, the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation. In return for their discretion, you will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. In the, in the Bible. Bible. I'm loving this. One day. Two weeks. Two weeks. Three months. Oh, shit. 
this is the I I have a feeling you are not gonna not gonna live this. This is this is the fucking demon. This is the demon. The the boy is 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 the demon. Oh my god. Yeah, he gonna get out and he gonna kill us. Oh my god. Oh yeah. You know nothing, Pentejo. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh jeez. Oh, he just went upstairs. Oh no. He he took one of the pictures? Oh shit. Bruh. Oh man. Oh, Dios mío. Shall drink the wrath of the Almighty. Oh. <laughs> the body of a pig. Have you forgotten already the notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory pressing escape key or start button. All right. Oh. I don't have a map. You go south. Fuck. Oh, I I went north earlier. Okay. What happens if I go south? Okay, it takes you back. Okay. What? Okay, it's not random. Oh. Oh. Dear. <laughs> Current investigation has been conducted at Gallup Cemetery in the State Connecticut Historical Society has been postone postponed until further notice in the interim. We ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, and any wildlife, any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Oh shit. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Oh shit, I got one. <laughs> Okie dokie. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long-lost friend.
Dearest disciple, verily, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. He must first conjure his demon. He must then serve his demon. He must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Turn to the save family tomb whenever you are in need of rest, Gary. Fucking Gary. Enter the spirit house. Oh. 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 All right. Hey. Here. Do I have the key? No. Oh, so these three have spirits that just wandered off. So I feel like these statues tell you which way to go. So let's try left, or sorry, right, up, left. Right. Up. And then we'll try up again because of the other one raising his hands. But maybe it's up twice. Maybe it's up twice. Hmm. Oh. What if it's... I see, I see, I see. So what if we start all the way? So down, right, down, up, left. Right. Down, right, down, up. You know, I'm kind, of, kind of curious what's over here. Oh my. Oh! Oh god, I think it almost hit me. Ah! Oh, I got it! Losing grandma uh, was the hardest thing I've ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much. I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's house. They took me down to the basement. I saw her grandfather 
I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. Tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. Oh. Down doesn't work. So let's try it. Right, try. Right. So down's not a good one. Right. Left. Go back and try it again. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Bree Harden. 38 and Robert Kimball Martin, 40. Devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to the accident in their home. Bob was a training advisor for the United States Navy and Cindy was a CPA. More recently, a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12th, 1969. Voluntown, though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. Public closed casket, casket memorial will be held at Tillinghast Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter, Amy, twin boys, Nate, and Jason. Oh no. Huh. Ah. Mortis. Mortis. I will end you. Wait, this totally moved. That statue totally moved. That was not where it was earlier. Ugh. Oh my god, such a long walk of shame.
Shit. Alright, so I gotta dodge this guy. I gotta dodge him. Ah! <laughs> Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy, and my doctor seemed to be judging me each time I'd leave the doctor's office. Strange woman across the street. What she do is stare at me, smile, no word, big warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. Her smile was as big as ever. She somehow was not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and then shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me and I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Fucking Gary. Fucking Gary. Oh, yeah, those ones. It's locked. It's locked. Up. Oh. And. We gotta figure out how to... This way, this way. Up. Doesn't seem to do it. Try the opposite direction.
statues are pointing. Like, they are legit pointing. We could try up, up. Left, right. Oh, wait. It's left, up, right, up, up. Okay. Because it go down. Well, we tried the other other way. So up, up, left, up, right. Up. Up. Left. Up. Right. Fuck. All right, let's try something. One, two, three. Whoa. Ah, I got it. Fuck. Fuck me. What did I... It was left... Left... Fuck. I I know it's very spoopy. Left. There. Here we go.
Got him. Oh, I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day, my body withers away, but by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge guided by beings of pure darkness. I have been trusted with the secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks, arranged in five. First at the top left point, and then down. I will lure them into the woods. Then I will show them my power. Oh, okay. So I should go find those rocks. First at the top left point and down. Okay. I have an idea. We're gonna draw it. Oh no, it's the cemetery. Okay, cool. I thought the cemetery was trapping me. Welcome home. Top left. So, start here, and I go. Here, 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 and here. All right. Did they just start here? That was like the only two places I can start to actually make a star is here. Or I didn't do anything. But we should be able to get the key now. This makes me want to look up a game that uh, I pe played on my Power Mac as a kid that was uh, kind of gruesome. Um, and it was like just like made by a person. Um, but I don't think it ever got anything other than a demo. Um, I'm not going to talk about it too much, just in case I can't fucking find it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my. Oh. Oh. This is blood. This is blood seeping out of my eye. Wait a minute. I can make a blood trail now. I can make a blood trail now. I'm going to do this. Oh, I love you. I can make a blood trail. Are here? Oh, okay. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Here we go. I did it, right? Oh, 
shit. Oh, the, the blood stopped. <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Is it gonna keep coming? Huh. Oh, I did. Okay, cool. I got rid of him. Uh, from new patient initial consultation, John Thomas Ward, present Dr. James Spinell, PhD, two orderlies. Subject non responsive for the first half hour, followed by fragmented exorcism narrative. Subject unable to maintain consistency in story, for example, stating that Amy was in the basement and then saying she was in the attic. Subject insistence in incident was the result of demonic possession. You cannot declare subject of sound mind. Will require several more sessions to fully understand subject's mental state. Will advise Martin family attorneys. That was cool. That was cool. And reading the notes helped. Um, it's a shame I went down down there early before I even knew that I needed to do it in blood, but I guess that made sense. Because, you know, it's said to draw in blood. You know what you guys should look up if you want to play a retro, like a truly retro, like horror, scary adventure game. Um, it's it's originally on Mac. I think it was originally on Mac, and it's Abandonware, so you can look it up online and just download it. Don't play the NES version. Do not play the NES version. You will not have as much fun. It's not a terrible game on NES. But, play the original. Uh, it's called The Uninvited. It's called The Uninvited. Highly recommend. It is a cool game. Oh, uh, the game is called The Uninvited. But play the Abandonware version. Don't play the NES version. It's the, the same publisher brought them, bought, brought them to NES, and it's the same people that made Shadowgate. The Shadowgate, Shadowgate came out good. It's a little clunky because, um, with the D-pad and stuff, but um, the original's great. It's got better art. It's a little more gruesome. Um, but I highly recommend. It's definitely, it'll definitely give you the willies at time. At times, excuse me. It looks like up, right, down, down. If, if. Oh shit! Oh shit! Which one were you hiding at, demonic tree? Where you hiding at, demonic tree? Okay. Oh, what the fuck? He guards the door to underground purgatory. I hath not seen. Her children fear her. Confess thy sins. Oh, it's a shame it doesn't say that out loud. Confess thy sins. Day one of our paranormal investigation to the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. Uh, <laughs> on our way. It's, it's Jonah. This is Jonah. <laughs> On our way, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly... 
This is mostly the stories we have heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and the secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently it has to do with some summoning spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're going to try the game tonight as soon as... Oh, okay. Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Oh. Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. What seeds have you yet to confess? <laughs> I try to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and brought my mouse to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the sad of contrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. Oh god. Oh. Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. And we'll see if we can get these boards off of some of these doors. But that's not even the best part. Caught an EVP. Can't hear it on tape very well, but it, to us it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. This is great. This is this is a great game. I'm digging the fuck out of this. Master class for 12 bucks. Got him. Night two, we're gonna be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before. Sure, doors opening on their own, things falling off the shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself. As soon as Lars walked into the room, it was nuts, and we got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this to the the TV station. Oh, okay. Look at that limp candle. The detail. Really good. A gun with one bullet. Oh. Wait, watch the candles? 
Maybe she'll be in whatever room I'm in when the candles are. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh god. Oh god. Shit, I missed. Take that, spindly lady. surrounds thee. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on page. Good book. Now, send the staircase, knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time does not change down here, as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two o'clock. God's work be done. I have been where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man going mad in this dark prison. Here's bleeding from the screams of a demon. Fucking demon. Oh, shit. Okay. Dudes. Yep, I'm taking a picture. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, if I touch any of the symbols. Okay.
Oh, I didn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Okay. This, 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 yes, uh huh. Ah, uh, yeah. Mother of. Here we go. Oh, where the fuck am I now? Ah! Three murdered in the latest wave of ritualistic killing. Sterling, Connecticut. Bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Andrew Arward, Angel Nagales, and Troy Inglis are the names of unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual pandemonium pregnant two uh two of the victims bodies were also particularly burned although authorities could not specify who the bodies were found several miles from gallup cemetery where residents reported tomb had been desecrated they also found trails of blood leading off into the woods investigations would not investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related the arraignment of the bodies in arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern as well as the writing of certain symbols and blood matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, 17-year-old girl, by John Ward. Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust for luring her into the woods and killing her. Oh, God. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity. The police authorities are urging the people of Sterling not to mourn the loss of Atwood. Nagalas and English because after all they were degenerate devil worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even connect an investigation at all? That's what you would like them to think wouldn't you John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and and killed them one by one. You ignore their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict bodies and then chopped off their heads. Because everyone knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou can't not put down again thou couldn't kill Amy thou shalt not destroy my works for they are the works of the eternal dragon even now she is at thy door her hand is at thy throat yet you 
see her not, I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium Regnant Satan. Oh my god! And it's just going. Oh my god. And my controller is vibrating and vibrating and vibrating. What? Oh my god. What the fuck? I'm here, John. Oh no. <laughs> Oh! What? What? What the fuck? What the fuck? <gasps> There's an arrow pointing down. It totally looks like it wants me to go through. Okay. Ah. Okay. Candy tunnels, what the fuck? Death awaits. Ah, uh, multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after the exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow, Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after the police raided the tunnels where suspect, suspected murderer... Joe Bauman, a.k.a. the candy store killer, was alleged to be hiding. And this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that the officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bauman was wounded in the exchange and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Satin. Satin lives. <gasps> Satin lives. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been discovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow Hill Road. Uh Side Sterling, the notorious candy tunnel known in the area to be a home to attic gangs, runaways, and the indignant has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of a possible connection to Joe Bauman, aka the candy store killer, who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut in Rhode Island over the past year. Oh 
Oh, there's another body. Oh, nope, this is where I was. Okay. When Sop Oh When you When you move When you it, I think it's when you see it. When you see it, don't move. I think is what it says. When you see it, don't move. <laughs> oh my god oh my god i i mean i love it every single one of those rotoscope moments is super fucking cool we're going in here Oh, oh, there's a note. When I was a boy, my Nana used to tell me old legends about the dragons, trolls, and demons that lived up in the mountains of Norway. These old tales, the people would never were never strong enough to kill the monster, so instead they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it. Keep it satisfied. It was like a deal with the devil. One sacrifice per year so that the beast would not come down from the mountain and slaughter the entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing with is not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the damn thing dragging left of Jenkins down into the its lair. That's when I understood. The bums and the tweakers, the ones with grid and the child prostitute runaways, they'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. I can have them... It can have them for all I care. Nobody wants them around except maybe that thing. And I tell you what, I hope to God it never gets tired of them. Dude, that's creepy. I like that. That. Oh, shit. Here we go. I'm going to try going this way. See if I find, like, another note. Satin lives. Yes. It's as far as I'll go to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody except those strange... People with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Twice a month they come and pass right through into the deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really, really big. I don't know what I do. Yeah, Fuck. 
Well, I got the note. I got the note. Fuck, I missed note 11. And 16. I got you? Yeah, that startled me as well. You know, I just thought of something, though. Can I use my cross? I wonder if I can use my cross to stop him. And then get another note. We're going to try. Satin lives. I don't bless you, child. Yes, it worked. It worked. Here we go. Here we go. We're on our way. We're on our way. Oh my. It's gotten really quiet. I don't know why it's so quiet, but it is. Oh. Look for another note. Fuck. Oh, no. Yeah, you need Jesus. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. God, please save me. Nope. Nope. We're not going in there. Not yet. It's a flashlight. Oh, what? Oh, the... Oh, my God. Uh, oh! Oh! Ah! 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 Where is it? Oh god, it's right next to me. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, fuck.
No! I was, I was doing so good. I was doing so good. I hated that. Dude, that's... Yep. Oh, hell yeah. Where'd he go? I didn't get a note or anything. Lame. Wait, what's this? Nothing. All right, up we go. Ah, ah! <laughs> Me too. Oh. What the fuck does that say? They hate the light. So, I see some symbols. Eyeball two line, double pitchfork, uh, a bola, and a spiral. Ah, 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 get away. Get away. There, I can hold the map A now. The fuck is... Give me the note. What do you want? What do you see? Uh, 
Okay. It'd be great if I could plug in a second controller and just be like, let's fucking go. Yes, it's true what happened to Amy. You are no murderer, God. There is no but you could have God. But maybe now her soul is at rest. Let us go. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. He will deliver me. God damn it. It scared me. Ah. 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 Jesus Christ. She killed him!
No! No, no, and it keeps going. I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I always love you back, Molly. What? John, it's not too late. Your soul can st still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter. For now, I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching you. Father Garcia. I survived a nightmare. But did I really do the right thing? I don't know what is real anymore. My face is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the boys, maybe I will find what I'm looking for. Uh oh. I hope that's a good it one of the good endings. That's an okay ending. So when you hit continue. Oh, so you gotta you gotta so you need to, you need him to survive. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I think you need him to survive. No. Get up here. Get up here. Damn it. Kill me. Trying to save my boy.
No. John, come on. Quick. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Now we finish her. Oh, shit. No! Oh my god. Ah. No. Okay. We're together. We're th oh god. No. He follow. He follows you. He follows you. Come on. Okay, now we gotta walk away. Come on. Come on, quick. Did we do it? Did we do it? Did it count for a good ending? Yeah, my boy. Me, my boy. I'm not gonna look at the note. What happens if I just go this way? Race form John Thomas Ward. This is certified the subject hereby released by my care after completing their required counseling treatment. My satisfaction confidence they are ready to resume their normal daily activities. The mentally stable member of society, Dr. James Spinell. Existing conditions, mild anxiety, acute chorophobia. Did I get nothing for keeping my boy alive? What did I even do that for? What did I even... Satisfaction of friendship? I didn't even get an achievement for it. I didn't even get an achievement for it.
What? Probably. So you could probably climb up the hill while you're the spider and stay the spider. Ooh. Getting tired. I think I'm gonna call it. What a fucking amazing game, though. Let's see, let's see what uh in game got. So I got twelve out of thirty. Oh my god, whoa, here she comes. Here she comes. Whoa, here she comes. God damn. I'll wait. No, not all of them. A lot of them are song references. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and well, yes. Uh, yeah, find all endings in chapter one. There are, oh, there are three endings in chapter two. Oh, there's a secret boss in chapter one that I gotta find. Oh, there's a prologue chap for chapter two that I can, that's a playable thing. Okay. Three endings in chapter three. Probably one of the hardest achievements to, in the game to get is good Christian boy, finish marathon mode. Good endings only without dying once. Oh my. Oh, dude, does this game have Steam cards? Oh, no. I got Among Us cards, oddly enough, after playing. Why am I getting Among Us cards? I haven't played Among Us. It has its own cards? Well, I'm not getting them. I'm getting Among Us cards. Got three Among Us cards just now. I don't know what that's about. Steam being done. I also don't really care about the trading cards. Ooh. Ooh. But, uh, yeah. What a good time. That's a good one. Have the. Damn. But, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go lay down. But I had, I had a blast. Uh, I'll hang out with you guys again soon. Um,. Uh, yeah, happy holidays. Have a good Thanksgiving. Um, if you have an extended weekend, awesome. I'm going to work on Friday just because I don't see why not. Um, but uh, yeah, 
Everybody have a good one. Enjoy your turkis. Enjoy your turkis. Yeah, that's it for me. Yeah, everybody. Bye. Eric, thank you for suggesting a really fucking awesome game. I know you've suggested it multiple times. Fucking awesome. But yeah, all right. I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, everybody.